Hi everyone and welcome in this tutorial. I'm Arian and today we are going to add the GDPR compliance uh, for our website. It's, uh, we are talking about the cookie bar that asks you to accept all the cookies. So let's add our new plugin right away. Clicking on add new and then I'm going to um, click here and search for GDPR. Okay. And then I'm going to use this one here. Install now, activate, and now we have our GDPR here. Great. Now we need to click on these little settings or you can get also from here. And now you have all the option to customize the colors and the branding and you know, all those kind of stuff also the logo so i'm going very fast so i'm going to uh, click on banner settings and here we have a default message that will appear when i get um you know to the website so um you can also add the setting button but i will leave it as standard here i will just save the changes to be sure uh, and then i'm going to test right away if the plugin is working so control shift n and i'm reaching the uh, incognito tab so i'm going on demo at the unicorn.com as you can see you will have your uh, cookie bar here in the bottom uh, and you can click on settings and as you can see everything comes up and you can enable all save settings and whatever so we are going to change some of the settings here and uh, yeah so i'm going to close this tab right now I'm going back here and now I'm going to click on floating button for example here I can add a floating butter button that can allow you to change the settings but that's not uh, what we are going to using uh, general settings of course privacy overview so this is very important because it's the text that comes out uh, on the pop-up um, settings and here you can change your text I will leave it right away like that and um, strict necessary cookie of course you can change the functionality by always enabled so that user cannot disable you know the strict uh, cookies because those cookies are very important maybe for you to get the website working anyway i always keep it optional uh, in my case uh, and then here you can change the tab content of course and um, the warning message and all those kind of stuff i click save change again and then this is very very important third party cookies third party cookies actually are google Analyt analytics uh, the pixel uh, linkedin insights all those kind of third party um, cookies actually that collects information so if you're using analytics or google tag manager or whatever just turn this on and then uh, the default status i always uh, keep it on because i want people i want that uh, you know I want to register the, 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 the data, so uh, I will always uh, keep this on. Um, of, of course, you can change the title and the description here and whatever. And here you need to paste your codes. I usually use Google G tag and I add the Google tag here so that if somebody disable the third party uh, cookies, uh, we won't be able to register all the data of the user. So here, if you have analytics, pixel or LinkedIn insights or whatever, you just need to paste the code here. And of course, remove it from the website. Great, once you've done that, I'm not doing this in this tutorial, but you just need to save this. Of course, now it's asking to fill the code. So I will just text some uh, random code. I will save it. Great, now Control shift n to go in incognito mode, get back to your website and check out, um, of course, the cookie bar. And now clicking on settings, and now as you can see, we have third party cookies. And all those kind of text that you are seeing can be edited from the setting of the plugin, so uh, that's pretty easy. Great, now I'm going to close this button here and now i'm going back to my wordpress website another important thing is that we need to allow users to change their settings their cookie setting whenever they want and you should have the privacy and policy page of course if i go on my page now i can check it it's pretty easy i'm going to edit this page and here 
on cookies I just go here and add great and then I'm going to select settings okay click on this uh, link and then just paste this code here that I will leave in the description uh, of this video and then click here and now this is a link that will open your pop-up so I'm going to update the page view page now we are in the page and if I click setting voila you have your setting open so that is very important to have in your cookies page or privacy policy page so uh, so yeah if you need to create your own privacy policy and cookie uh, page of course I will leave you in the description some links where you can get yours or you know hire somebody to make it for you that's all if this tutorial was useful like button on this video subscribe to my channel and of course notification bell so that I will always add new videos for you guys thanks a lot and see you in the next tutorial